Here's a look at the stories making headlines at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. Dick's Sporting Goods has stopped selling assault-style rifles and high-capacity magazines. The retailer will also no longer sell guns to anyone under 21. The mass shooting in Parkland, Florida two weeks ago has led Dick's Sporting Goods to stop selling assault-style weapons. That's what the company's CEO told Good Morning America. We, we were so disturbed and saddened by what happened. We felt we really needed to do something. Dick's already stopped selling assault-style guns after the massacre at Sandy Hook. Now the company is removing them from their 35 field and stream stores. Dick says it will no longer sell firearms to anyone under 21 and will stop selling high-capacity magazines. Accused Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz actually bought a shotgun from Dick's last year. In a statement, the company's CEO said it was not the gun nor type of gun he used in the shooting, but it could have been. We're staunch supporters of the Second Amendment. I'm a gun owner myself, but we've just decided that based on what's happened and with these guns, we don't want to be a part of this story. Dix isn't the first company to get rid of these guns. Walmart banned high-powered rifles at its U.S. stores in 2015, saying there was lower demand for the weapons. Shoppers we talked to at this New Jersey store all support the decision. Jim Hoppin chose to come here because of it. You know, if a lot of people go out and support Dix in response to this, it, it sends a message that other companies should follow suit. The company says its decision can't guarantee another school shooting won't happen, but if one life is saved, it will have been worth it. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, Paramus, New Jersey. Police in Chicago's Washington Heights neighborhood are asking for your help finding a man they say attacked a young woman. Investigators say last Thursday, the man in this photo forced the 18-year-old from a bus stop near 95th and Halstead to a secluded area where he sexually assaulted her and took her money. At the time, he was wearing a black fleece jacket, gray jogging pants, and a black and red baseball cap. And finally, here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with a look at your forecast. Hey there, everybody. We're looking at temperatures today in the 50s. We'll see some scattered showers and a decent amount of sun and clouds. Still a pretty nice day, but moving into Thursday. Here we've got rain, possibly heavy at times, and mixing in with some snow. Now, especially up to the north, by the time the system is wrapping up and the cold air is coming in, maybe enough snow that it could stick in spots farther north of the city. We're going to have to keep an eye on the sky to that one. We're right on that rain snow line, and we have to see how much snow falls, how vigorously, and whether or not the ground is warm enough to just melt it right on contact. So it's going to be an interesting setup coming into the day tomorrow. Either way, you need to know that rain could possibly be heavy at times tomorrow, and that's probably through the entire morning commute, stopping sometime around, time around 4 or 5. So it's going to be a bit of an interesting one, but temperatures tomorrow still in the 40s for highs, and that'll be the case through the 7-day.